Hi! Hello, hello everyone. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Friday night. I'm so excited to be on here. Hi when you guys hop on. I got my um, pineapple mango lemonade. I'm done. Um, it's gloomy and your girl wants to feel like she's on a tropical island so that's what we're doing it reminds me of a dole whip from disney fyi anyways let's get started hello and welcome to friday night you guys hello t thank you for hopping on i hope you are feeling good getting better hello julia <clears throat> All right, so earlier this week I posted. We're gonna ignore that, that's okay, because that's not my phone. But, anyways, um, earlier this week I posted about staying grounded and like the importance of that. Or not really the importance, but I kind of just vaguely put it there and you know, kind of just asked you all asked you all about that. So how can you stay grounded? How can you protect your energy? Because when you're in this unprecedented time that we are living in right now with everything that's going, it can be hard for you to not really control your emotions, control your energy, and really kind of just stay grounded. Um, so here are some quick things that I want to teach you guys to help you. So I'm going to take another sip real quick because um, it's so freaking good. It's so good, you guys. Um, so how can you stay grounded? How can you manage your energy? And before I share my tips real quick, if you know what I'm talking about and you have something that you like to do to really control your energy, um, to really stay, stay grounded, share it in the comments below because I want to know. Um, I love learning from other people things that I might say, maybe something you didn't know, maybe something I didn't know. Let's all learn and share together, right? All right, so anyways, the first thing I wanna talk about is to move away from the source of negativity. I can't explain to you guys how important it is that if you have some negativity in your life, you really need to detach from that and move on. Um, and I say this because, yes, it's so simple, but it's very effective in you know really saving your energy um distancing yourself <laughs> at least 20 feet forget the six feet 20 feet and you will see relief trust me um i don't err like on the side you know what i mean like you're always a little iffy on the side not wanting to offend anyone newsflash you are living for yourself boo <laughs> okay at the end of the day this is your life so if you're gonna offend somebody oh well who cares because at the end of the day you really have to focus on you and your energy because that person ain't gonna pay you pay your bills okay their opinions their thoughts and whatever it they may have about your lifestyle about what you do or how you dress or how you eat or your thoughts or whether you know uh you see things differently than them they ain't paying your bills so it don't matter it don't matter if you offend them or not um so yeah, even if you're at like parties or like get togethers, distance yourself from those energy vampires. Like you'll know them in those little physical gatherings and all that kind of stuff. Physical closeness is only really gonna increase that absorption of negative um, feelings. And I wanna say like, if you're an empath like me, we are highly, highly sensitive. So we can absorb energy really, really, if we're not careful as empaths we really absorb energy to like another level so it's so important that you um stay grounded and you keep your distance from all that negativity um because yeah like i said as empaths we do that um so surrender to your breath what do i mean by that if you suspect that you're picking up someone else's energy okay concentrate on your breath for a few minutes and 
when you're focusing on your breath, it's centering. You want to center that. Um, and it connects you to like your personal power. So, you know, when you're having anxiety attacks and anxiousness and all that stuff, we always say take deep breaths. And that's exactly why you want to inhale and exhale to purify that fear to, um, what do I say? Purify that fear and pain, exhale the stress, ex inhale the calmness, picture your home uh, like ho unwholesome emotions as gray fog that's lifting from you and things like that um and trust me like that is gonna do a world of a difference for you guys okay this is being a little weird sorry i didn't even think about that <laughs> um so like focusing on your breath and centering is gonna really connect you to yourself um it also i want to say that meditation and breathing together that is something super important um i think i say this all the time meditation 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 it's so important and it's really going to change a lot of things in your life if you um pick up that as a habit um okay so back to the meditation thing like i said i've been learning about meditation i've been learning about different things so there's something called a gorilla gorilla um meditation okay so you know before any like loud crowded events things like that be sure to really meditate and center yourself beforehand um and you know use that time to really get yourself strong mentally um mentally and emotionally not even okay and if you encounter any emotional or physical distress while you're at the event act fast and meditate for a few minutes um there's also another number one tip that i like to use um that has helped me personally that that has helped me with my social anxiousness and all these like crazy events and it kind of helps me keep calm and collected um if you want to know that number one tip then drop a sunflower down below or you can just shoot me a message and be like uh number one tip please <laughs> um so anyways and like i said by taking that you can you know take go into the bathroom or an empty room um if it's public close the stall and just meditate in there just really take a minute to yourself um and meditate there and that's what's known as a gorilla um gorilla meditation and i might be pronouncing it pronouncing it wrong because it's not spelled like gorilla like the animal um so yeah focus on that positivity and love and honestly it saves you so much more than you think um, and I want to say also, always set your healthy limits and your boundaries. Um, limit the time that you spend hanging out with and listening to stressful people. So those negative Nancys, get rid of them. The doubtful Debbies, they can sit down. Stressful Sally can sit over there. Okay, get them out of your life. Um, because you spend too much time around those people is draining your energy and you're literally gonna be stressed and anxious just like them and you're gonna be negative just like them and you don't need that we don't need that um so get comfortable with saying no and you don't have to make a big deal about it okay just simply choose to spend less time with them that's it and be comfortable with the fact of saying no if there's something that you are not fond of or something that that doesn't resonate with you or you're just feeling a little iffy about then bye just say no feel just say no um and when someone asks too much of you and you realize that say no set those clear limits and those boundaries um with other people nicely cutting them off at the line be like well you cannot cross the border stay over there <laughs> okay um clear those limits please um and if they get critical or mean remember no is a complete sentence okay it's not necessary to explain why unless you choose to okay it is your decision you can just say no it's a complete sentence that's it they don't you don't owe them an explanation you don't owe them anything unless you choose to reply to them and tell them why or whatever that case may be you don't owe them any response whatsoever um visualize protection around you okay um there has been some research about this that's shown uh visualization can actually really heal both your mind and body um it's a practical form of, of protection that many people use um even some healthcare practitioners okay 
And one of the favorite techniques that I've um, read about is imagining an envelope with a white light surrounding like your entire body. And I say this because um, that white light surrounding them is protecting your body from that negative energy and or even with extremely toxic people in your life. Um, and what else do I want to say? Uh, maybe even visualize a fierce cheetah or a jaguar or whatever patrolling like your energy field and keeping intruders out. Just visualize that. I kid you not, you guys, our brain is so powerful that there's just so much to it. You know, whether it comes to the law of attraction and visualizing things and all this stuff, so much, you have so much power over that. Just utilize that. We have so many tools that we have within ourselves that we don't get in touch with. And I feel like we really need to do that because whether this is for your business or for your personal self that you're trying to do. Um, and then most importantly, the last one is to define and honor your empathetic needs. Okay. Like I said, as empaths, we have our empathetic needs. Okay. So safeguarding like your sensitivity is one of the best tips for us people as empaths or known as highly sensitive people. Um, oh, or, you know, highly sensitive people and empaths. I mean, they kind of, kind of similar, but in a calm and more collected moment, literally make a list of your top five um, emotionally rattling situations that you have in your life, okay? And then you want to formulate a plan to how can you handle these? How can you handle this exact situation and these things? Um, with specific action steps, okay? Action steps. Action is going to take you somewhere. But if you aren't doing action, you aren't getting anywhere. So make sure that they are action steps so you don't fumble in the moment and things like that. And then reflective and ever thoughtful, like highly sensitive people and empaths really benefit from advanced planning. So when I say advanced planning, trust me, it's gonna save your life. So please do it. <laughs> um, but, um, but yeah, those are my quick tips. And like I said, I mean, you know, I've learned this over time. I'm not perfect. Like, I'm a very empathetic person, very, very sensitive and all that kind of stuff. So I have to watch myself because, you know, in time past, I would absorb everybody else's energy and I'd be surrounded around, you know, negative people or um, people who use me and things like that. And that just piles down on you, especially as an empath. And um, it just takes a huge toll on me. And it did couple years ago it did um, and I'm so grateful that this past year I have found something to help me in terms of that um, and in terms of all these tips as well and you know there are plenty of things that I started changing within the past year um, and if you're interested about my journey or you have some questions please feel free to just message me um, I'm an open book and I'm always here to help anyone else that I can um, and like I said, if you want to know my number one tip that kind of helps me keep calm, collected, even with like events and things like that and socializing, just drop a sunflower in the comments or shoot me a message and be like, social anxiety, please help me, save me, <laughs> and, and we'll chit chat and we'll see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick tip of a live. Um, and I hope you guys are having an amazing Friday night. It's, um, it's a little gloomy here in Florida, but... It's okay, I uh, got my pineapple mango smoothie and um, we're good over here, right? <laughs> so anyways, thank you all for tuning in. If you're just hopping on, please catch the replay um, so that you can rewatch the amazing tips. Um, and then I'll also probably be uploading this on my YouTube. I've been trying to do that as a more collected network place so that you guys can all catch uh, my videos and things like that. So. I hope you guys have an amazing night and I will talk to you guys tomorrow hopefully. So if you guys have any tips or things that you want me to talk about, please just message them to me or comment them in my comments and I take all the suggestions um, because I want to help you guys as well as helping myself. So have an amazing night and I will talk to you all later. Bye!